Paul, let's get pet after meds. pets, baby. Pet Med Express, along with its subsidiaries, a leading nationwide pet pharmacy, etc. So a lot of people have been asking about this. Um, it's a small company market cap wise, but that's okay. $784 million market cap, okay? P.E. ratio of 25. So it's an X right now. But I will say this. I bet you there's a lot of growth in this company. It's a small company. There's probably a lot of growth. This might not be a bad P.E. And this is exactly what I'm talking about when I say, don't necessarily worry about how many checks and X's it is. It's about getting the story across. If this was a $78 billion company and that was 25, I'd be like, eh, okay. But it's $784 million. So let's just, I'm not worried about this. Okay. Profit margin. Profit margin, pillar number two. Let's now, go, we're going off the profit margin in the last 12 months. It's actually an X. It's a little mm. bit below 10%. The good news is in the last quarter, it was higher than 10%, and they got a good gross margin of 30%. So it's still an X on the profit margin in the last 12 months. Two hesitant Xs, though. Let's two go. very hesitant Xs. Revenue growth over the past five years is pillar number three. I bet you this is going to be, oh, it's actually not as great as I thought. Go ahead. $235 million to $284 million. So it's a check mark. I actually thought... The, um, the, rev the, revenue the revenue growth would be much higher. That's interesting. Okay. It's actually not even that great, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Profit growth is pillar number four. Profit growth. 20 to 25. Another check mark. Yeah, yeah. Well, look at these big jumps right here. They, had, they hit 37 twice. How about shares outstanding, which is pillar number five? We want this number going down. <laughs> look at this. This might be the smallest decrease we've ever seen in our lives. 20.12, 20.04. It is a check mark, kids. How nice. Literally, that's 80,000 less shares. Pillar number six is current assets greater than current liabilities. I we, bet you this is going to be a good one. We are doing pets. I bet you this is going to be a good one, kids. Current assets, 141 million. Current liabilities, 26.92. Total liabilities, practically zero. How do they have a... Wait. How do they have total current liabilities of... Wait, what the heck? Do you see this? Go on. How can current liabilities be 27 million and total liabilities be zero? Something's wrong here. Bottom line is they still have plenty of cash to pay off all their debts. They're good there. This is a major check. It's actually a massive check. So there might be a glitch here in wide charts because look at it this way. Total long-term liabilities is 1.3. Total current is 26.92. So it should be 28.3 million total liabilities. But there's, a, there's an error in the white charts. Guys, it just goes to show there's errors everywhere. There's an error here. This is quarterly, right? Yeah, it's quarterly. Mm -hmm. Okay. But still, we'll add those together. We're fine. They still have plenty of money. They have over, they have over $100 million left over. They paid off their entire company. Uh, they, that makes the PE, by the way, about 22 instead of 25. Current assets. I'm sorry, Paul. I was reading comments. Check mark. Current check assets mark, over for pillar number six. check marks. Oh, great. Thanks. All right. Pillar number seven is free cash flow growth. This is cash from operations. Minus capital expenditures, Paul. You know 1 that. One million to 36.5 million. Good Lord. Check mark. 37.4, 36.6, The average free cash flow over the past five years is $31 million. Times 20 equals 620 million. It's a bit too expensive, even taking out... So it's an X. Slow down a bit. The free cash flow is 624 million. You decide to use your multiplier for pillar number eight, the price to free cash flow as 20. 31 to, times 20. To get us a desired market cap. Of that, 620. And the current actual market cap um, is, um, did you watch the price right when you were a kid? Yes. <laughs> actual retail price. Actual market cap is? 874. I'm sorry, 784. Look at me. I now, build it remember, up and blow they it. had $100 million in extra cash after paying off all debts. So it's actually 684. 684. But remember, they had total current assets of 140, total liabilities of like 30. So it's about 110 difference, but it's still an X. And I guess my question, my comment is it's not like the growth was huge. I would still be waiting on this one just a little bit. I don't see the growth being huge. Let's see how their trailing 12 months have looked on the income statement. And remember, guys, all these financials will be available through our app. Yeah, so when April oh, comes wow. when April comes around, folks, um, we will be show we will be getting off of Y charts and getting on the Everything Money software, which you will receive as a patron, where you can look up all this information or just do a simple uh, a simple click and search and get the eight pillar analysis on any company you like. That is coming 
and a phenomenal thing out of Paul's uh, brainchild of getting that done. So the trailing 12 months, they've made 30 million versus 25. That's a pretty good jump. I mean, is it possible this is worth it at this level? I mean, it actually kind of is. I mean, they got a good balance sheet. Go learn about what are they doing to grow their business? Like pet meds, is it gonna be bought by Amazon? Is there something out there that makes them attractive that'll get people to use them more? I, I never use them, but now I'm gonna probably go check it out. I have no idea, but the revenue growth is kind of concerning to me, but they seem to make money pretty confidently and pretty consistently, which I like a lot. So the I did go and do, on Tuesday, I read the 10K of this. Oh, you uh, did? Yeah, I did. Um, Phoenix also read it, who's, in, who's a patron in the, in the $100 level. The biggest concern that I had was that they, when you go, when you take your cat or dog or whatever you have to a vet, they're going to sell you their drugs that they have there. And I think, I, I don't know for a fact, but I think that these vet, veterinarians make a lot of money on selling drugs and they can mark the price up a little bit. These guys, it, it's hard for them to get into these private um, veterinary offices. So that's the struggle that I see. How are they going to be able to partner with anybody? If I'm, if I'm taking my dog, I don't have a dog, but if I take my dog in and I'm going to buy flea medication, if they tell me that it's going to be $5 more at the vet and I can just walk out of the door with it versus going home, going on the computer, logging in, getting it shipped to me, I'm going to do that. That's the problem that I, I see that Pet Meds has. But um, everything else looks great. I still want to do a deeper dive. I would like to actually talk to some of these veterinary clinics to see, would you... Do, do you make a lot of money off of these drugs or that you're selling to the um, consumer or would you allow somebody like a pet med to come in? What I would like to see pet meds do, and I, I don't want this as a strategy necessarily at the time, they don't buy back many shares. If they don't have much growth potential, they need to take their cash flow and buy shares back because that's how they're going to increase the per share profit and make their investors much more money. Because they're sitting on a lot of cash, $100 million in cash. They can go retire 15% of their shares and immediately drive up prices 15%. Warren asked a great question. Why look at PE if price to free cash flow tells a more clear story? I think you're looking at both really, right? We look at both and here's a good question. If there's a big disconnect and it happens over time, it could be an indication of fraud. That sounds extreme, but that's what I look at. I wanna see how are they looking to each other? And this one's pretty consistent, about 25 times earnings, about 25 PM of free cash flow. You still look at them as a check and balance. Some companies also, real estate companies, you don't look at PE as much as you look at free cash flow because the earnings part has so much depreciation and amortization and non-cash expenses that don't apply. So that's why we look at them. That's a very good question. But um, earnings don't always tell you the full story. And cash flow is a little bit better, I think, at telling the long-term story. That does seem extreme, Paul, when you bring up fraud in companies. But we have actually caught a month down the road. We have analyzed this where you brought this up. And, and fraud in, was, in fact, happening in some of these companies we've analyzed over the year. So... Um, all right, final take on pets, Paul. What do you think? I think it's do more due diligence. Though. I don't think, I mean, I'm not afraid of it. I think that as time goes on and people want to leave their houses less and less. And I also do think that if they're able to grow, I mean, this would be a great thing for Amazon. I mean, maybe they become the go, I mean, what would it take for Amazon to buy this company for $2 billion? It would yeah. take nothing. It would yeah. just be like, hey, we're worth $2 trillion. We're going to give you 0.1% of our company. Mm -hmm. uh, take it. And it'd probably, it'd probably be easy to do that. Mo, do you think you'll talk more about this in your $25 tier on Patreon? Uh, I, I don't know if we'll talk about it from a value standpoint, but from a chart standpoint, so these guys actually did get a little bit short squeezed yesterday. Um, their, their price skyrocketed from about under just under 40 bucks to almost $60 yesterday, and it came right back down today. Now they're down 26.5%. But from a charting aspect, this isn't a downtrend right now. Um, if I mean, we're, we're going to look at this. This actually looks like a pretty good short coming in. Um, if we can get below some of these moving averages, which are some of the key indicators, 25-day, 50-day, 100-day, and 200-day, this would turn out to be a really great short. That's our take on pets, folks. Hey.